Today I've got a problem from the Oxford University Mathematics Admissions Test. This is from one of the older papers, and it's actually a lot more straightforward than today's MAT. Let's have a look. Part A showed that x squared plus 4x plus 4 is at least 0 for all values of x. This is pretty straightforward because this factorizes as x plus 2 squared, and that is indeed at least 0 for all real values of x. Part B. For which values of the constant a is there at least one solution x of the inequality ax squared plus 4x plus 3 is less than or equal? equal to x squared minus 1. Well, if we just rearrange this, we get a minus 1 x squared plus 4x plus 4 has to be less than or equal to 0. And we want this inequality to have at least one real solution x. Well, firstly, if a minus 1 is negative, this parabola, if I were to sketch the graph of this, would look like an upside down parabola. And so eventually, if I go far enough, if I make x sufficiently large, this quantity will be negative. So this will work. So a minus 1 when that's negative, in other words, when a is less than 1, that works. Okay, what about if a equals 1? Well, if a equals 1, this x squared term disappears, and we've just got 4x plus 4 is less than or equal to 0. If you make x minus a million, that definitely is true. So a equals 1 also works. What about if a is bigger than 1? Ah, well now, here's where things get a little bit interesting, because now this becomes a positive quadratic. So... It looks like this, and we want it to have at least one real, uh, well, we want it to be less than or equal to zero for at least one value of x. And so that means that the parabola must have at least one real root, because if it doesn't have one real root, it would look something like this. And if it does have one real root, or at least one real root, that must mean, well, we can just choose that point, because at that point, this thing will be equal to zero. And so we can just look at the discriminant of this. And so we've got 4 squared minus 4 times a minus 1 times 4. And we want at least one real root, so we need that to be at least 0. And if you deal with this, this turns out to give you a is less than or equal to 2. So all of these here insinuate that a must be less than or equal to 2, in which case this inequality will have at least one real solution. Okay, the last part, suppose that a is between 1 and 2. Find all the values of x for which the inequality in b is true. So now we're assuming that this is a normal positive quadratic here. So a minus 1, because a is bigger than 1, uh, a minus 1 will be positive. And we want to know um, yeah, the values of x for which this inequality holds. Well, again, this is just going to be a positive quadratic. It's probably going to have two roots. And so x just has to be in between those two values. So we just find the two roots of this quadratic, just using um, the quadratic formula, perhaps, in terms of a. And then x will have to be between x minus and x plus, where x minus and x plus are the two roots of this quadratic. Um, so I'm not going to bother doing that. That's just a matter of using the quadratic formula. Nothing too exciting there. Um, but yeah, it's not a really difficult problem, to be honest. I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, as I say, this is not something you would see in the MAT these days. But I do think it's good to, you know, when you, maybe when you're starting to practice with the MAT, start with the older papers where the questions are a bit easier. Um, and also, it's interesting to see how they were assessed back in the day. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.